So in this video, we will see how you can create the sticker effect inside of Framer within just few minutes. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so right now I am on my Framer canvas. And first of all, we will start just by inserting the ticker component uh, from this plus button. We will search ticker and we will just add it to our Framer canvas. Uh, I will just make some changes in width and height so that we can experience this effect betterly. Uh, you can see these three dots that are running around at the end of the sticker which just help you in connecting uh, this sticker to the frames that you want to add in. Now here I want to add the infinite text scroll animation and I want to create the ticker effect of it so I will just create a basic kind of text that I want to animate. Now I would just connect this text with the sticker component from that three dot buttons. Just drag them out and just connect it with this stack. And you can see it has been added and if we give a play, uh, you can see the ticker effect is running very nicely. Now we will move on to the specifications and properties of tickers. So we have this a bunch of properties around. Very first we have this children. So uh, with this you have two options whether you can add different frames to it by just clicking on the add button. You can just change the position as well. Then we have an option of speed. Uh, you can just reduce or increase the speed as well and you can just uh, see how it's working depending upon what requirements you have then thirdly we have an option of direction so whether you want the ticker from top to bottom or from left to right or right to left you can just uh, see things change things around so as here we can see the ticker has been changed from bottom to top fourthly we have an option of alignment so whether you want it from top or bottom so the alignment option then we have the normal gaps and padding option what you want to give in the ticker then we have an option of sizing as well so you want to make the sizing uh, auto or stretch depending upon what requirements you have then we have an option of clipping so clipping is basically for uh, you can see a small fading effect at the end uh, if you want to remove it then you can just remove that effect and see how it's working. So it basically harden up the edges. And if you want, you can just add it back. Then we have an option of hover around. So this basically helps us uh, whether you want to increase or decrease the speed when the mouse is hover on this ticker effect. So as here, I have reduced the speed can just have a preview and once it's hovered you can see the speed has been reduced so it basically is used uh, when you have some information that is running in the form of uh, kind of text or cards that you want users to pay some attention so you can just give an added on interaction to it so all right friends so this was it from my side as of right now i would see you next time with some more web design, framer, UI UX design related concepts. And till then, remember one thing, web designing is simple. So let's keep it simple and let's make it simple. Bye.